I'll stay dead. Advice to live by. Oh, this frame is driving me crazy. Got like three itches I can't even scratch. Proctor Ingram, oh, well. the Institute wants me to get something called a beryllium from agitator from the ruins Proctor of mass Quinlan fusion. research a way to start Liberty Prime's reactor. And then this falls into a lap. I wonder if the Institute needs it, or they're just trying to keep it away from us. Either way, we should both head over to Mass Fusion to get our hands on the Beryllium Agitator first. That's if you don't mind a little company, of course. I would welcome Mama Bingham's company. Think of the things we can discuss as we travel. Why would you want to go? Are you kidding me? Mass fusion was on the cutting edge of atomic technology. And considering there hasn't been much in the way of engineering advancements lately, that makes it a goddamn gold mine. I'm not gonna miss an opportunity like that. No way. You're staying here. Hey, I might be walking around with metal rods shoved into my spine, but I can still take care of myself. Do I have a choice? You're the boots on the ground around here. I'm just a glorified mechanic. If you don't want me to go, I'll stay behind. But you won't be making my holiday list this year. Fair enough. It would be helpful to have you along. I knew you'd see it my way. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. This could be our best chance at securing a power source for Liberty Prime. Ingram? Haven't gone out on a field op in a while. Feels good to be needed again. Brotherhood sure is here. Guess we'll have to go through them.
No sign of the agitator. We'll have to search the rest of the building. Dr. Fillmore. This wasn't really what I planned on doing today. Calm down, Noel. You knew that this was coming. I don't understand why you're acting this way. Don't tell me to calm down, Carl. When we started designing the beryllium agitator, you said it would be for the benefit of mankind. Instead, I find out that you have been planning on turning it over to the military all along. You lied to me. Don't give me that high and mighty attitude. Have you picked up a newspaper lately? There's a war going on out there, Doctor. And if our side's going to win, it needs all the help it can get. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Since when did science start taking sides? What did they promise you, Carl? Money? Political favors? A goddamn medal? That's enough! Like it or not, when the testing cycle is completed, I'm crating up the agitator and sending it off to Washington. Now, you have two choices. Either you can get back to work, or you can get the hell out of my building. Allie. This wasn't really what I planned on doing today. Something from me? Weapons ready. Hold up a sec. Yeah. <laughs> 
Is everything all right? On the whole, no. It is not. I have spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far, and my cell diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. Robots can do amazing things. Surely they've contributed to science. When directed by a human, they have. But on our own, we tread predictable paths. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. If there's a way you can do that, you should. In fact, I must. If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. I'm willing to help, Curie. And you save me once again. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. If I was a pre-war tech conglomerate, where would I keep all my best toys?
There's the reactor. Not a bad piece of work for its time. It is a true marvel of engineering. Got it. Guess they weren't so good at mitigating radiation back in those days. Levels are almost off the charts. I'll monitor things from here.
Security alert in the reactor chamber. Emergency lockdown initiated. Dr. Fillmore. Normally I wouldn't advise sticking your hands into strange fusion reactors, but I suppose this is the exception. There we go.
These guys just don't know when they're beaten, do they? Indeed. They are vexingly tenacious. I'll help the synth buy some time. Make sure you get back to the Institute with the Agitator. for the Institute. Hey. Nothing to report, sir. Dr. Fillmore. This wasn't really what I planned on doing today.
From what I hear, that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. I hope you and father try to make up the time you've lost. Family is important. Hey. Yeah? If you require maintenance, please file a report with the Facilities Division. The Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn where everything is. Dr. Fillmore. I think that was enough excitement for, well, ever. Thank you, really. Couldn't have managed it without you. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand Father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. Dr. Fillmore. So, what can I do for the future director of the Institute? Who built this place originally? Has it... The construction of the... the original... Over time, it's a process that's... Just think what this place... Allie. Hi there. Something I can help you with? I'd like to know about the people in your division. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low-priority maintenance and labor. Dr. Fillmore. Hey, what do you need? It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Not that I've noticed. I feel quite well. I see. How's your energy level? Feeling any fatigue? No more than I'd expect from a man of my age. I see. Yes. That So you'll be the new director, huh? Father always did like to challenge our assumptions. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Questions. I see. Any additional pain or tenderness? 
Not that I've noticed, no. I feel quite well. I see. How's your energy level? Feeling any fatigue? No more than I'd expect from a man of my age. Mm -hmm. You're sticking to the regimen we agreed upon? Yes, Doctor. I'm taking all my little pills. Interesting. And you've been getting extra rest? Are there many more of these questions? I see. Any additional pain or tenderness? Not that I've noticed, no. I feel quite well. Mm -hmm. How's your energy level? Feeling any fatigue? No more than I'd expect from a man of my age. Mm -hmm. You're sticking with the regimen? Yes, Doctor. I'm taking all my little pills. I see. And you've been getting extra rest? Are there many more of these questions? Okay. Any additional pain or tenderness? Not that I've noticed, no. I feel quite well. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Doctor. I think that will be all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. We handled them just fine. That's what Dr. Fillmore reported. I'm quite pleased at the results. It would have been a terrible setback to lose that technology to those savages. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their pension for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause, but by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future, and we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your Minutemen. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation. But it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. Why all this effort? What's so special about this person? Mr. Wallace? Despite a lack of formal training, our surveillance has shown he has incredible intellect. With his help, we may be able to drastically speed up work on the reactor. Once you've settled in, I'll want to do a physical and get a file going on. No hurry, though. After what I've been through, a checkup is probably a good idea. I should think so. Who knows what you might have been exposed to up there. How about you take some time to get comfortable, learn the lay of the land and such. In the meantime, you come see me if you need to get patched up. We'll do that checkup when you're good and ready. Take care of yourself, so I don't have to.
sake, be reasonable. I know you can hear me, now open this door. Uh, what's the use? For what it's worth, I think you're a fine choice to take Father's place. What's going on? Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken have decided to protest your appointment as Father's successor. They've taken control of the bioscience security systems and cut off our food supply. Have they made any demands? Not yet, but I expect they'll demand that you renounce all ties to the Institute. Maybe I can reason with them. I believe I can help with that. I can unlock the maintenance tunnel that leads to the bioscience observation room. From there, you should be able to communicate with Higgs and Logan. If you can't reason with them, you can use this holotape to access the command functions on the observation room terminal. That should give you some options. Just please, try to talk to them first. Use violence only as a last resort. Here we are. Just give me a moment. There, it's unlocked. Attacking human. <laughs> I thought I heard something. Made it past the guards, hmm? Impressive. If you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. I know you're angry. But there's a better way to handle this. Oh, you're wrong. You see, I've tried talking. For years, I've suggested that we do things differently here, but nobody listens. Let's see if anyone can afford to ignore me now. Father believes in me. 
The least you can do is give me a chance. How could you hope to lead us when you hardly know anything about what we do? I'm sure you mean well, but you must see that it's an impossible task. I'm under no illusion that this will be easy. Your determination is admirable, if misguided. The truth is simply this. You have no idea what it means to be the director of the Institute. Can't you at least give me a chance? A chance? Hmm. What do you think, Max? Even the most fastidious researcher must sometimes a leap of faith. I say let's give it a try. Very well then. Open the door and let's return to the fold. Since abort command override and resume normal functions. Only opens with a key. Greetings, sir. Lawrence. We have several people qualified to become the next director. Father's lost his mind. Operating at full capacity. I was fearing for the worst, but I can see that I underestimated you. I'm just glad they listened to reason. <laughs> Indeed. There is one further matter to discuss. Obviously, some kind of disciplinary action must be taken here. The question of what form it takes is up to you. Put them on probation. Limit their access to quarters and non-working areas. That's more than fair. I'll see to it that everyone's notified. I'll take that holotape back. I also wanted to offer you something as a more personal expression of gratitude. I know that your work often takes you to the surface where supplies are scarce. I gathered these items together for you. I think you'll find them useful. Well, 
Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Among many other benefits? Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision-making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. You seem a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. I was in a vault. They put me in cryogenic freeze. Remarkable! I must say, darling, you seem very well preserved. Now, where was I? Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. It is quite common for owners to modify a robot's pre-installed personality. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling, what do you think of the water around here? It's awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Pressure is down, radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. What do you need me to do? Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Supervisor Brown. Ready to hand over those mute fruits? Yeah, I'll take those caps now. Ready to hand over those mute fruits? Yeah, I'll take those caps now. Jolly good. Here you are. Two caps of...
going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? You've done good work. Thank you. Uh, sir, so, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure him out here, since it'd be easier to kill him. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? Have your men hold their ground. I'll go in and assess the situation. I don't think that's a good idea. Sir, we have to act now, or else we risk not only letting them get away, but taking one of ours with them. I wouldn't wish that fate on anyone. Are you going to lead us in there, or what? You're right. Let's go in there and get him. All right, then. Let's go! here you're an unexpected surprise uh-huh we don't know quite you've done good work thank you uh-huh so how do you but then we realize that makes sense right have your men hold their i don't think that we have to are you gonna leave mm -hmm. this whole thing is just a misunderstanding a misunderstanding can't wait to hear this explain to me how this is a misunderstanding You don't have all the information. I do. And I'm telling you, this isn't what it looks like. That man's not in danger. Do not let this become a tragedy. You'd better be right. If you're not, that man's life is on your head. I'll have my men stand down. But you'd better get in there and make sure you're right. you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. No problem. I'm sure I can get him to see reason. I hope so. We really need him. No. 
no use. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. Enrico. You must be pretty excited being named the next director. Useless. The sooner we can get out of here, the better. Busted. It's stuck. Broken. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? 
Please, try and relax. I know this is an unusual situation. No! You're here to kidnap me! That's what you people do, isn't it? If you even are people? I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. What can I say to convince you that we're not going to hurt you? That you're leaving and never coming back. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. Fine, fine. What do you want from me? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... that sounds good. Okay, fine. I'll go. The sooner we can get out of here, the better. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. Hello, sir. Hi. Yeah? 